and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is Two by Two, Noah and the Flood. Let's read. <laughs> we have to update the game. Let's read. The earth filled up with people, but they kept disobeying God and hurting each other. God was so sorry he had made them. He had he decided to send the flu to wash away, wash away, wash away everyone on the earth. So Earth was filled with people. You can see many people, but there was one thing wrong. Everyone had sin in their heart. So everyone in the world was <laughs> sinning against God. There was a man named Noah who wasn't like the others. Noah loved God and obeyed him. God decided to spare Noah and his family from the flood. So there was a man named Noah. And they were not like the others. They loved God and obeyed God. <laughs> So God warned Noah about the flood. He told him to build an enormous boat with a low roof, three floors, a window, and a door. Noah obeyed God and built it. So God warned Noah. God told Noah to build a huge, huge enormous boat with a low roof <laughs> with a low roof and three doors and no window question who loved and obeyed God number three no one in his family so no one in his family Has obeyed God and built a huge, enormous boat. God told Noah to collect two of every kind of animal one male, one female, then Noah and his family, and the animals went into the boat. God shut the door. So God told Noah to collect every two kinds of animal. Oh, sorry. Two of very, uh, two of very kind of animal. Sorry. So one female and male. We have found the Bible on self-control. Like God held when Noah was collecting every kind of animal because like if they eat the, each other then Noah will not able to get all kinds of animals, right? It 
rain for 40 days and 40 nights. Water fell from the sky and rose from the oceans and lakes. Even the tallest mountain disappeared beneath the flood. So it rained for 40 days and nights. Like a many water fell from the sky. And even the tallest mountain was disappeared. Question Did God tell Noah to take one of each kind of animal onto the ark? No. God said to each of kind of animal. <laughs> one female and male. Meanwhile, Noah, his family, and all the animals were safe in the boat, floating on the flood. On the flood, water Scott had not forgotten about Noah, not even a moment. So Noah's family obeyed, obeyed God, so they was able to. So they were able to be safe. God sent the wind to blow. The waters went down. The boat landed on a mountain. Arar. Noah sent out the dove. When it didn't return, he knew it was safe. So God sent the wind below, and waters went down and down. You can see, I mean, water is not there. And Noah sent the dove, and the dove didn't return. So Noah was able to know that it was safe. When the drum ground was dry, God told them to come out. He put the rainbow in the sky as a promise that he would never flood the whole world again. So God also gave a gift and a promise that they, he will never flood the whole world again. That was the present was rainbow. <laughs> I like rainbows. Like when there's sun and rain, then they will be a rainbow. And it was God's promise. Diamond, sword of the spirit. Question: God put the rainbow into the sky. As a promise that he would never flood the whole or wor world again. True. Yes, today Eric the Bible story did it and died. And next time I'll read another good story. Then I'll see you next time. Bye.